Let's play Pokemon Yellow. If you hear the fan, a fan in the background, that is because it is freaking hot here. Um, okay, here's a trip, a uh, tip for the fight uh, for Brock. You can catch a Mankey if you go to the grass, and I'll actually show you where. And that'll make it slightly easier. But I prefer not to do that because eh, I like a little challenge in my life. But Mankey is a really rare find in that patch of grass that I just walked into. The same place where I caught my Nidoran. So yeah, there's that. But I prefer to use this team mainly because it is awesome. Yeah, um, yeah. Fighting moves are super effective against Brock. So if you want to use that trick, uh, be my guest. I personally am not going to do that. And here's an and so here we're going to do some unavoidable fights with a caterpie. And why the crap is Nidoran in front? I'm sc Yeah, well my Nidoran is going to go down. I can't really do much about that. Unless I switch in my Pidgey. Oh snap, yeah. Pidgey will be more effective against these bug types, plus it'll level up eventually. Um, string shot, really? Okay, I'm gonna spam Gust. So we're going to finish it up with a Gust. And one more should do the trick. And there's the first kill on Caterpie. Nidoran is going to gain experience. And Nidoran's gonna actually level up and learn Horn Attack. Horn Attack is a, a good move. It does physical damage. I'm not gonna switch out Pidgey mainly because we're going to hit it with a Gus. And I'm actually not fast forwarding because I want you to. S because uh, I fast forwarded quite a bit in the last last episode, so I'm gonna give you guys a break from that headache of speed. Cause I fast forwarded through the Brock fight because it was very repetitive. Um, the next fight with uh, the next gym leader is going to be much easier. Plot. Spoiler alert: There's a second gym leader. And for these trainer fights that are before the next dungeon, which is actually coming up very shortly, I'm going to um, keep in my other Pokemon so I can level up Pikachu in the, in the while well, I'm actually in the dungeon. And everyone else is going to level up during these fights, except for Nidoran and Nid, except for my two Nidoran. The, they are not going to see much screen time. I mainly caught them just to be meat shields. And onward to the next fight, which is just a repetition of... Actually, this is not a repetition. This is Youngster. And I have my Nidoran out still. Uh, well, let's show a Horn Attack. Um, horn Attack is a high power physical damage move, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Holy... As you can see, the trainer Pokemon are much smarter than wild Pokemon. Uh, we're going to switch it in Pikachu for this fight because Pikachu is a little behind on Pidgey. The two Nidoran are obviously going to be behind for quite a while. Um, so yes, there's the level up on Pikachu. Um, And we're gonna switch in Pidgey. Yeah, this um this route actually takes a while to get to the next um, dungeon, so I might do the next dungeon um tomorrow. We'll but uh, we'll see. Uh, Leer is a debuff that lowers defense, so physical attacks will do more damage. I think, and level 15, that is not a level up, I don't, I do not believe that is the evolution level, but, yeah, it's not, well, 
here I prefer to go I prefer to do this and ah oh, crap I forgot uh, yeah you can skip that trainer that I just got into a fight with I don't recommend it because we are going to fast forward this fight because we can because we so yeah that that fight is easy enough uh, same with this one actually and Pikachu and this is a fight where Pidgey is useful so if you, as you can see if you use Gust it just does a ton of damage and Gust and there's the end of that one uh, so now we gotta continue on and I'm gonna use Pidgey in this fight just for the heck of it and as it's a Metapod, I am going to pull in Pidgey just for the... Actually, no, I'm going to switch to the Nidoran for the experience. Because uh, Metapod can't hurt Nidoran. Holy crap, this might take a while. Um, yeah. So, how's your day been? Leave it in the comments. I don't know, something. And Nidoran will level up from that. And we're going to... Now, in this grass, you can find po- I forget if that's a trend or not, I'm not taking the chances. In this grass, you could begin finding Clefairy, or, yeah, I believe it is, I believe it's Clefairy. Yes, it is Clefairy. And, um, what a Clefairy is, it is a normal, I believe. I do not believe it is psychic, but it evolves into Clefable. I'm not sure if that's in this game. Actually, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. So we're going to go catch a Clefairy. And then head into the next area. Or we could catch a Spearow. That works too. Uh, Spearow is basically a... Um, it is a... Pidgey clone. But it does not have a third evolution. Spiro is more, um, Spiro is a good bird Pokemon, but it's not that different from, say, a uh, Pidgey. Oh, shoot. Uh, we're gonna send out Spiro just... But Spiro start with Peck instead of Tack, instead of Gus like Pidgey, so they're not that good. And now that we've got a Spiro in hand, we're going to heal a uh, Spiro in hand. Uh, we're going to continue. I'm going to switch Nidoran from the front and switch in my Pikachu and we will we'll continue on. There are some trainers that are harder than the bug catchers and in this in this dungeon as you can see it is a cave. Um, well I think you can see that if you can't there's something wrong. So this is going to be a little bit difficult because many of the trainers are hikers have pure rock Pokemon pretty much exactly like Brock so what we're actually gonna do is because I completely forgot about this we are actually going to catch a Mankey or actually no we're not we are going to send in Pidgey and Gust and Gust and Gust and Gust okay so now, now that P um, Pikachu has fainted, we're actually going to leave. And actually, catch a Zubat, maybe. Um, I'm not sure if you saw, but um, uh, what happened was Spirit. Um, sorry, Nidoran became Nidoran became confused, which means that some of the attacks are going to actually like return damage. So, yes, I do believe we should try to get through Mount. This place is called Mount Noon. You can find Zubat here for the first time, as it is a cave, and Zubat are going to appear constantly. Uh, do not go down that ladder. Actually, there is an item there. Uh, when, once you go down the ladder, you will notice that you are in a different area, and. There, oh, this is not the right letter. I'm, I don't think this is the right letter. Uh, oh, yes. So here you find HP up. 
that is a very good item and this is team rocket the main antagonist of the series so what we're going to want to do is quick attack it a bunch of times holy balls that hurt uh, gust gust thank you Rattata, we won't change. And Team Rocket is an evil team that is um, basically the opposite of a normal Pokemon, Pokemon trainer. Pokemon trainers want to befriend Pokemon. Team Rocket is trying to enslave Pokemon, basically, and build like an army of rare Pokemon. Uh, I'm just going to run through this fight. Uh, so, well, since my Pikachu fainted, uh, run. well, my Pikachu fainted, so I'm going to heal up, and I guess we will continue next time on Pokemon Yellow. Next time on Pokemon Yellow, we shall be continuing through Mount, M Mount Moon, and hopefully not dying anymore. Um, so... Once we get through Mount Moon, we're clear for the rest of the game. Almost, there are. But, there are more caves, but by then we shall have Pokemon that are more effective in caves. So, until then, I will see you all next episode. See ya.